Hello and welcome to Tinker Tank SWAT. We're in a Tier 6 encounter on mines in our T25 Tier 5 German Premium Tank. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've put up a video, but real life has been uh, real life has been intruding into my fun time. Oh, well, that's not strictly speaking true. I've been having quite a lot of fun in real life, but the main thing is, is I haven't really had time to put together. A lot of videos so uh, this will be the first one in a while hopefully I'm back to producing content daily or near daily uh, what you need to know about the t25 is that it is fast in a straight line it doesn't turn well and has an okay gun with an okay rate of fire now control of the hill in the center of the map on this uh, on an encounter battle on mines is vital and uh, I am taking the chance that I've got the speed to get up there before the enemy can come round and shoot me to death before I can get out of their line of sight. And uh, the Cromwell, the uh, <coughs> excuse me, AMX, uh, they're they're a bit quicker, got there faster. But I am getting around the corner without a without anyone getting a shot into me, which is, well, that's good work if you can get it. And the first thing to do is head north and see if I can get a shot at artillery or any tank destroyers hanging out in the back. And there is a heavy tank back there I can see, but there's the artillery. And uh, I do love to nom me some artillery, as I am fond of saying. So the, team, the enemy team now has no artillery. And there's a tank destroyer, a uh, SU-100Y. He has a very, very dangerous gun, but not much in the way of armor. And he is a big square target. And of course, despite him not having much armor, uh, I did manage to bounce a shot or two, take a few blind shots, and move up to uh, see if I can spot him again. And I can. And that's it for the SU-100Y. That's one very dangerous gun removed from the enemy side. Ah, good fun, good fun. So, move up again, see if I can get a spot on that heavy tank that I saw crossing. And there he is, way over there. Unfortunately, I have exposed myself, and now I have bigger problems, like that T-67 who's got a wicked high rate of fire. He can put shot after shot into me if I'm stupid enough to sit there. Which, frankly, I am, but just not this time. And, no, he's... He's disappeared, so... Let's see what else we can do that might be useful. Now, one of the reasons that it's vital to command this hill is that it gives you a rather good view of the cap circle and the goings-on there. And a little AMX ELC is using the uh, terrain and bush to sneak out for an occasional shot. But I'm going to move up and see what I can do. It turns out I can do quite a lot. Like bounce shots off a of Churchill. Take the roof out of the way. Oh, oh look, his ass is towards me. He looks ripe for a bit of rough handling. Yeah, the Churchill is uh, heavily armored from the front, not so much from behind, as we just saw. And there's still some enemy heavy tanks that are uh, handy and hopefully ripe for the picking. And of course, they've taken the cap circle rather early, but you know, it's in counter battle, that's what you do. And can I sneak out here somewhere and get a shot? It's kind of annoying to be able to see those guys and not get at them. And here's where I make a couple good shots into that, or one good shot into that fellow. Can't quite get the gun depression, and I drive off the embankment and track myself. Which uh, could have been better done. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to go sliding down that uh, cliff. Ow, that was a big hit. 
and uh, I don't have the rate of fire of the American 76 millimeter, but good enough to uh, trade deaths with that fellow. So uh, overall, not a bad result, and uh, my team does go on to win, and that's a ace tanker badge, as you can see, a good handful of ribbons, uh, including the one for killing someone as they kill you, and a high caliber. So five enemy tanks dead, one damaged, and top of team with a high caliber medal. And that's 1,877 damage, which is not bad with this gun. Uh, as I say, it's, it doesn't have the rate of fire of the American 75, but it's not, or 76 rather, but it's not a bad gun. And uh, overall, this is a, uh, yeah, the T25 is a fun, uh, fun tank. And shots fired 24, 22 hits, 17 penetration. Again, 1877 damage. And a bit of spotting damage for a whopping, with a premium account, 50,610 credits. So, a very worthwhile result. And my Ace Tanker badge on the T25. So, if you like the video, please hit like below and subscribe to the channel. It all helps. And I hope you have a very good day and take care out there.